Welcome back to Black News Tonight as we turn our focus to the black world and the stories making headlines across the diaspora. President Joe Biden's chief medical advisor, Dr. Anthony Fauci, says the U.S. is rethinking its travel ban on southern African countries since the emergence of the very contagious new COVID-19 variant, Omicron. The changes of heart come just a week after Dr. Fauci said the ban would give U.S. officials proper prep time to fight against Omicron. Critics have been slamming the U.S. for its latest travel restriction, which Fauci is now considering lifting as officials learn more about the virus. Thus far, though it's too early to really make any definitive statements about it, thus far it does not look like there's a great degree of severity to it, but we really got to be careful before we make any determinations that it is less severe or it really doesn't cause any severe illness comparable to Delta. But thus far, the signals are a bit encouraging regarding the severity. But again, you got to hold judgment until we get more experience. England is also under fire over what the United Nations chief and Nigeria's high commissioner to the UK are calling travel apartheid after the UK added Nigeria to its travel red list, which mandates that people traveling to the UK must take pre-departure tests. International transport companies are chiming in as well, saying that the global supply chain is being further hampered by the travel bans, which include some African countries that have yet to report any cases of Omicron. And finally, to combat the pandemic, African nations are now developing blueprints on manufacturing their own COVID-19 vaccines. As the COVAX Global Vaccine Distribution Pledge of 2 billion doses by the end of the year will not be reached, falling short by hundreds of millions of doses. 